Hey guys, how is it going? Shin Yomi Sam here to do a review on Boku no Hero Academia Chapter 98. Now, Mineta is unbelievable. The man has grown to unbelievable levels of just being like a psycho kind of rapist kind of guy because Mineta, man, like I knew he was going to be stoked for um, the school becoming a boarding school now because. Freaking hell. Last time we saw Minessa get this type was at the training camp and when he wanted to see the girls naked. Now he's got his own humble abode. Now he has his house. He's got his room where he can lure his people in. Like freaking Silence of the Lambs kind of stuff. Now, that was hilarious. I gotta admit, like, the, the detail that Horikoshi put onto Minessa when he was just like, come here, come here. I was just like, my Gosh, that was hilarious. Um, Mineta, man. Mineta just has no chill. That's all I can say for his character. Nothing more, nothing less. Mineta has no chill whatsoever. Now, this chapter was really awesome, but a lot of things have been... A couple, two couple of... Actually, one thing's been bugging me, and it's not actually a bad thing. I've just been really interested in it, but I've realised that no one's talking about it from this chapter, even from the Reddit. Nothing. And that is what Aizawa Sensei said in this chapter. Now, what he said, I feel like Horikoshi was basically giving us a hint that Aizawa may be the traitor. Now, ever since um, the training camp, ever since the after effects of the training camp, it was kind of confirmed that we may have a traitor in our midst, maybe student or teacher. And everyone's been thinking, who can it be? Who can it be? Because, for example, in the training camp, all the information was kept within the school like it wasn't released it weren't publicized all the information was kept within the teachers so there must be a traitor who is giving you know um who's leaking out the information to the villain alliance to you know sensei all for one um so in this chapter Isaiah sensei he says something to himself he's just like um this is obviously pa i'm obviously paraphrasing it right now but he's just like oh the, the teachers clumsily didn't start did that, or something like they clumsily um, instead of them clumsily looking and watching me around there, giving me the power to do anything I want or something like that. Either way, it was a little bit weird and it kind of seemed out of character for my Zara Sensei. And I was wondering, maybe that is a hint that he may be the traitor. Now, I've got mixed opinions about if Zara Sensei was the traitor. Because one, f one uh, firstly is... He's just such an awesome character. And I know that's kind of a bad opinion to... Not a bad opinion, but that's just a, a bad thing to address. Because, like, I think it'd be awesome for character development. It'd be awesome for the plot. Like, people would be like, hang on, wait. I didn't see it coming. Because you need to understand, the role of Isaiah Sensei throughout this series has been um, pivotal. What he's done, what's happened to him. So, <clears throat> pardon me. If he is a traitor, that is going to have a massive impact, not just on the students, but the whole entire school as a whole. And I'd be, I'd be so psyched to see that happen if it was a, a possibility, if it was reality. Um, but of course I'd be bummed out because Isaiah is my man, and if he's a traitor, I'm going to hate him. But I still obviously like his character, if you kind of get what I mean. So um, aside from that, tell me your thoughts in the comments below if you think Isaiah Sensei may be a traitor. Or tell me if you think anyone else... Who, tell me your other ideas of who you think is a traitor. Now, let's get aside from that and go to what was the meat of this chapter. And that was the dorms and the slice of life. And you know what's funny? It took us a good odd, uh, an odd 90 chapters to get to, you know, a, a massive slice of life kind of thing. Like, we're in, the, we're in a school setting. And we've rarely had the setting of, you know, being in a school kind of slice of life kind of atmosphere. So, I really did like this chapter. It was fleshing out a lot of humour with the characters. And it was just giving us that nice atmosphere which we kind of needed from the cool down of the hypeness which we saw um, in the previous chapters before. So, we got to see a couple of rooms and I got, I got to give the shout out to Tokiyami, man. Tokiyami, I said this before, he's one of my favourite guys, he's like the underdog of this series. Tokiyami's just such a beast, man. I really love the dude, he's such a cool guy and his room is awesome. This is what I want Horikoshi to do. Please, Horikoshi, make Tokiyami use that sword. Draw Tokiyami with the sword. How badass would that be? Him using dark shadows coming out, and he's got that freaking samurai kind of sword. And I'm just like, yo, that would be awesome. He's got the capes hung up as and as well. Like Tokiyami's room was just off the hook, man. It just looks so awesome. I was loving it. Other rooms were looking cool. Um, 
Kaminari was looking pretty chill on the Alga. I'll talk to Kaminari back, uh, and back ago. I'll talk about them in a second. Uh, I like Ojiro Zoom mainly because it was just very simple and normal. Um, in my opinion, I would have probably had someone like that. Like, you know, just a normal kind of room, just have it chill. Because, like, room there for sleeping, for working, all that kind of greatness. Um, because, you would, like, with Ojiro's room, he... It doesn't say that he's got no personality. It just shows you that he's just, you know, he's just a chilled out guy. Like, he doesn't need all the posters and all that kind of stuff. All he goes in his room will probably be, you know, sleep, train, and eat. Actually, not even eat, because they've got the main quarters. So, um, I did really like Ajuro's room. Freaking Eda, man. Eda's got 15 glasses just in case, you know, for fire emergencies, for everything. The man, he's got every scenario planned out. He's so hilarious. And what I found awesome that Horikoshi must have done... He, his room looked the biggest. I'm not sure, but Ida's room looked bigger than everyone else's. And I just thought that was a nice touch that Horikoshi does. And I really do like the small touches that Horikoshi does. For example, in some of the panels, um, you'll see Dark Shadow coming out. Or you see Ojiro's tail, you know, like scratching his head. So I really like those small attention. That attention to detail that Horikoshi puts in his artwork. It truly is awesome. Now, um, this is what... Um, I wanted to talk about with Bakugo and, Kirish and Kirishima, sorry? Yeah, Bakugo, Kirishima and Kaminari. Now, what, what Bakugo does at the start of this chapter is, is quite, um, uh, what's the word? I'd say it's quite, it's levels for character development, in my opinion. Bakugo's character has changed so much from chapter one. See how he is now. In this chapter, what I interpret, interpreted what Bakugo had done, Bakugo just relieves the mood, because straight before it, I saw a sensei was talking about, oh, I would have expelled all of you guys, so obviously the mood was pretty thick and heavy. And then Bakugo obviously uses Kaminari for a comedic device, you know, to put him in his derpy kind of mode. And um, with that, he uses it as a distraction to pay back Kirishima and ignite the bromance. So, all in all, I really do like, I'm really loving the strides in character development for Bakugo. Horikoshi's obviously doing that, he's obviously taking a conscious effort to develop Bakugo's character because we know he's one of the main characters of this series. Now, um, with him re re relighting the mood, just giving up the atmosphere, it was really awesome, it was a nice touch that Bakugo had done. And all in all, I'm just really liking Bakugo's character. I love how he was sleeping for all of this. Whilst the competition for the showcasing of the rooms was happening, Bakugo was just chilling. He was sleeping. Um, we didn't really see Todoroki's room. Um, I, I wonder what his is like. Can you imagine it's just like covered in ice or something like that? Or he's just got like so many air conditioners. That would be pretty hilarious to see. Or like you open his refrigerator and it's just stacked with bottles of water or ice or something like that. Something like cooling down when he uses his fire signs. So I'm not really sure. But with Tokyo Army's room again, I just want to talk about that briefly, um, like for a couple more seconds. The fact is that it's all dark, it may be that Horikoshi's kind of implying that he's going to be training in that room, you know, um, to try and control uh, Dark Shadow because of what the effects of what happened in the previous arc. He may have killed that villain. He can't control Dark Shadow at night. Um, face the facts, when it's at night, it's 70% more stronger. Um, I believe that was stated somewhere in the manga that at daytime it's only 30% he can use or stuff like that. So, um... Tokiyomi does need to control his power, and with Deku's room, it's just like freaking fanboy, man. It's hilarious, and it was pretty funny to see that. But all in all, this chapter was really fun. What I found it hilarious at the end was Deku's reaction. I'm just like, Deku needs to chill. The way he was acting, I was just like, hang on, man, like, chill. You're only seeing the girl's room, like, it's not that deep. Like, he was acting like he was just like, is this okay? Is this really okay? And I'm just like, Deku, take it easy. Take it easy. So, um, this chapter was awesome. Mineta greatness. All of that awesome, um, awesomeness was just beautiful. Uh, I, I can't wait till next chapter, chapter 99. It really shows you, like, with all moods of Boku no Hero, it's always a great chapter. Like, Horikoshi could deliver us such great storytelling, such great hype and action moments, and then even his slice of life is a 10 out of 10. So, Tom Ford's coming with this Shinami Sam. I'll see you next week for that greatness that is Bug in the Hero Academia, chapter 99. If you liked anything that I had to say in this review, drop a like, that'd be greatly appreciated, and I'll see you next week for that greatness. Shinami Sam, goodbye.